Let us now take the next example from this topic of algebra. Question number 5. It says if a by 1 minus a plus b by 1 minus b plus c by 1 minus c is equal to 1, then find the value of 1 by 1 minus a plus 1 by 1 minus b plus 1 by 1 minus c. And we have got the four answer options here. We say option A is 1, option B is 3, option C is 4 and option D is 0. So what do we do? We have to take this equation A by 1 minus A plus B by 1 minus B plus C by 1 minus C equal to 1 and express it in the form of what is required. That is 1 by 1 minus A plus 1 by 1 minus B plus 1 by 1 minus C. So how do we do it? Let's look at it. Now, the point here is let's add 3 on both the sides. We have an equation here. Let us add 3 on both the sides. See what happens. So we take a by 1 minus a plus 1. Right? We are adding 3 in 3 parts. 1 plus 1 plus 1. So a by 1 minus a plus 1 plus b by 1 minus b is already there. We are adding 1 here plus c by 1 minus c is already there and add 1. This should be equal to 1 plus 3. Right? We have added 3 on the left hand side. 1, 1 and 1. So we are adding the same 3 on the right hand side as well. So that the equation is balanced. Let's see what happens now. Now if you try to simplify each of these terms, what do we get? The denominator will be 1 minus a. Look at the numerator a plus. Now this 1 gets multiplied by 1 minus a. Likewise we have b plus 1 minus b divided by 1 minus b plus c plus 1 minus c divided by 1 minus c equals to 1 plus 3 is 4. Now if you simplify the numerators here a and minus a gets cancelled likewise b and minus b and c and minus c also gets eliminated. So what are we left with? 1 by 1 minus a, 1 by 1 minus b, 1 by 1 minus c equals to 4 and that is what is required 1 by 1 minus a plus 1 by 1 minus b plus 1 by 1 minus c should be equal to 4 which is option c here. So the whole idea is to express the given equation in the form of what is required in the given question. Alright. Now how do we understand this? Just by practice. If you look at this term a by 1 minus a and this term here 1 by 1 minus a we have to eliminate a in the numerator. So the simple point is if we add this denominator to the numerator a plus 1 minus a. So a and minus a gets cancelled divided by 1 minus a. So that is actually the part of component right. We have gone through this uh, different simplifications that can be done on fractions right. We are doing component to each of the terms here right. Add 1 for each of the term. Now since we are adding 1 to each of the terms so that we can apply the component uh, method of simplification we have to add 3 on the right hand side as well so that the equation is balanced and arrive at the required answer. So that is the actual way of solving the question here. Option C 4 will be the answer. Otherwise, if you do not get this idea or if you don't want to follow this procedure, try and see if you can substitute the values of a, b and c which, uh, which satisfies the equation given here. If we get the value of a, b and c, then we can simply substitute in this expression and find out the required answer. Let's see how do we do that. Now look at this term here, this expression, one a by 1 minus a plus b by 1 minus b plus c by 1 minus c equals to 1 and no conditions with respect to a, b and c. Now if you look at each of the terms, they look similar, right? a by 1 minus a, b by 1 minus b, c by 1 minus c. Let us assume each term is equal to 1 by 3, right? Each term here is equal to 1 by 3. So that 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 will become equal to 1. Alright, we can take it in different form, right? We can take 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2, right? We can take, you know, maybe 1 by 5 plus 2 by 5 plus 2 by 5. So that it becomes 5 by 5, which is equal to 1. But to keep it simple, let's assume each of them are equal. So 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third should give us 1. Which means a by 1 minus a is equal to 1 by 3. Now let's simplify this cross multiply. What do we get? 3a equals to 1 minus a or we get 4a equals to 1 which means a is equal to 1 by 4 and if a is 1 by 4 b and c also will be 1 by 4 since we are to take the same way b by 1 minus b equals to 1 by 3 we get b equals to 1 by 4 and c also is 1 by 4 so if you take a as 1 by 4 b as 1 by 4 and c as 1 by 4 we get uh, we satisfy the given equation that's it now we can substitute this values of a b and c in the required equation and find out the answer there so 1 by 1 minus a, what will that become? 1 by 1 minus a will be equal to 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4. Now 1 minus 1 by 4 is equal to 3 by 4. 1 by 3 by 4 will be equal to 4 by 3. 
all right so this term here is equal to 4 by 3 and since the terms are similar similar even this will be 4 by 3 and the last term will also be 4 by 3 however the values of a b and c are same so when we simplify each of these terms we'll get 4 by 3 plus 4 by 3 plus 4 by 3 what is 4 by 3 plus 4 by 3 plus 4 by 3 it will be 12 by 3 which is equal to 4 option c as we have got earlier so either follow the tradition method or you know try to express the given equation so that we get what is required or see if you can simply substitute the values of a b and c uh, through some logic and find out uh, the required answer by taking the same values in the given equation.